So an inference that I think we can make is that um, when Peter is like enters like sort of pretending to be asleep, and Peter walks into the room after they had the big fight, um, you can Peter is saying like how much he loves Ender. So I think that Peter, as like bad as he may seem, we can sort of infer that he has like a good side to him in that he doesn't mean everything that he does in the way that he does it. Starting to settle in. I think he's sort of like, he feels that, I think he's quite angry that he's in battle school as well because he just started to get comfortable with all of his friends. And the new promotion thing. Yeah. And he thinks that it was more of a punishment than anything else. That he feels that um, everything's happening all over again with um, what happened in battle school. Like, he's going to be controlled again. And as it's really like an indicator because we find out later that he does go off. And um, in the same sort of a repeat, repeat, he's like being controlled by uh, Razor, Mazer Rackham. Yeah. Overcoming all of the challenges, no matter like what odds are put against you, because throughout the whole book, Ender has been faced with different challenges. They've been always changing the rules of the game, but he's always come out on top. So it just sort of shows that, like, overall, I think the author is trying to show us how like you can you can do whatever as long as you can try, as long as you try at it and work hard. Hmm. I'm starting to think that, like, later on, Valentine's gonna get, like, sick of writing about, uh, Demonstes, because, like, she had said before that she doesn't like his, the way that, um, she has to make his attitude, and, like, she was saying that Peter was just sort of using her in that sense.